Uh, today I just want to share something with you briefly, but it's still something that's exciting because I just kind of like rediscovered it. Let me read it from the Bible for you. It's in, um, let's see, uh, okay, it's uh, Colossians 4, 5, and this is really important. I'm going to explain what God said to me afterwards. Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be seasoned with grace. Oh, your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each one. And what God showed me about that scripture is, it says, walk in wisdom to those who are outside. In other words, people who are not saved, walk in wisdom with them, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be with grace, always with grace. I find a lot of people witnessing by saying, ah, you're going to go to hell. Ah, you do this, you're going to go to hell. Or these people who, who get angry, these Christian groups that get angry at uh, uh, homosexuals or people that are fighting in a war they disagree with. Um, and they say they're Christians and they're so full of hate and anger or people go out in the street and witness and um, all they want to do or, or, or even at work they somebody swears or talks dirty or does something nasty and all you want to do with, to them is say hey you know you're on your way to hell because you're seeing their behavior and that's what you're telling them well that's what that is not how God tells us to witness he tells us that our speech be, always be seasoned with grace and grace is giving the other person something they don't deserve. You know, if you take part in gossiping, if you listen to somebody gossip to you, you're you're polluting your spirit. You never want anything to come out of your mouth that makes somebody else think less of someone else. And that's what gossip is intended to do. Gossip is intended to belittle someone, to make them to make you look bigger and them to look better and oftentimes it's done in prayer too when you pray about somebody so be careful the words that you choose when you pray about somebody in a group because you don't want to air everybody's dirty laundry that's between them and God um, so so pr pray with grace speak with grace witness with grace and receive grace yourself so I hope that's helped you uh, my name is Robin Bremer.net is my website check out my books Check out my blog and I'll talk to you tomorrow.